Like many Asian cities, Singapore has grown rapidly in the past few decades. This growth has been the source of environmental problems, such as the urban heat island effect and air pollution. In attempting to solve these complex problems, we can look to nature. Singapore's ecosystems provide many important benefits, which are known as ecosystem services. These include cleaning and cooling the air, providing food, protecting our coasts, and providing spaces for recreation and exercise. The two projects, Singapore's Natural Capital and Ecosystem Services in the Urban Landscape, are aimed at improving Singapore's urban environment by making better use of nature. The projects really have four goals. One is to assess the status of Singapore's ecosystems. The second goal is to assess the benefits that these different types of ecosystems bring for human well-being. The third goal is to consider how these benefits may change in the future under different development scenarios. And the fourth goal is to develop an interactive decision support tool that can be used by planners and architects so that they can incorporate the benefits of nature in their planning and design. Assessing the benefits of ecosystem services involves working in many different types of ecosystems, from the marine, to the terrestrial, to the managed and man-made ecosystems such as parks and gardens and rooftops. It also involves many different kinds of methods. Researchers have to go into the field to make measurements. They also have to understand the economic benefits of ecosystem services. And also they have to talk to people to find out what they think is important about urban nature. They may enjoy it, for example, for fishing, or for cycling, or for sport, or for simply sitting in the garden. To help us understand the bigger picture, we use remotely sensed satellite images or we can capture our own data using drones. The resulting data sets help us gain insights on how nature can be quantified on different scales, from national scales to local scales. High resolution data set obtained from LiDAR scanner are increasingly important for planning cities. In particular, 3D point clouds provide a very accurate representation of the three-dimensional space, including the vegetation. Point clouds can be used to estimate the supply of ecosystem services, such as, for example, cooling effect, which has three components. On one hand, the temperature effect, the humidity, or the wind speed. And they can also be used to estimate what are the best landscape designs for supplying the maximum ecosystem services benefits. Based on the data, we develop models, and these models allow us to estimate ecosystem services supply. The transformed point clouds provide scenarios, scenarios of future development or greening alternatives, which have an influence on the ecosystem services in the surrounding. So one of the main goal of the project is to develop an interactive 3D decision support platform, which allows on one hand to visualize the status of nature and its benefits, on the other hand to understand the effect of different development options on ecosystem service supply, and finally also to just communicate the information to peer and the public. The 3D decision support platform allows to identify areas which provide a lot of ecosystem services, but also areas where you have trade-offs in ecosystem services and also trade-offs with some development goals. The key functionalities provided in the platform allow the decision maker to understand the impact of different development options before putting it into practice. So in summary, the project will provide 
a powerful tool for informed decision making to help meet the sustainability targets of Singapore. The future of the environment is very uncertain due to further development plans and consequences of climate change. Planning with nature will help us to overcome the challenges of urbanisation and create a more resilient, sustainable and livable city. The projects Natural Capital Singapore and Ecosystem Services and Urban Landscapes will support future planning decisions to achieve these good outcomes for Singapore. Thank you.